Hello children, this is our computer class. In previous video, we learn about introduction to computer. Now in this lecture, we will get detailed information about various computer parts. So, let's start our interesting lecture. Children, you have seen this part of a computer. Can you name this? Yes, this is a keyboard. Now, we will going to learn keys on the keyboard. A keyboard has many keys on it like alphabet keys, number keys, space bar key, backspace key, enter keys, arrow keys. You press these keys for typing text on the computer. Let's know the use of these keys. Alphabet keys. The alphabet keys are marked with A to Z. These are 26 in number. You can press alphabet keys to type letters, words and sentence. Number keys. They are placed at the top of the alphabet keys and right side of the keyboard. The number keys are marked with 0 to 9. These are 10 in number. By pressing these keys, you can type numbers. Spacebar key. The spacebar key is the longest key on the keyboard. You can give a space between two letters, words and numbers by pressing this key. Backspace key. The backspace key is used to erase character to the left of the cursor. Enter keys. The enter key is used to move the cursor to the next new line. A keyboard has two enter keys. Arrow keys. The arrow keys are four in number. These are used to Move the cursor in four direction, left, right, up and down. Children, you have learnt about the keyboard. Now, can you name this? Yes, this is a mouse. A mouse is kept on a mouse pad. It has a long wire which is attached to the system cabinet. Nowadays, you also have a wireless mouse. Now, we are going to learn about mouse buttons. A mouse usually has two buttons, left and right, and a scroll wheel. Let's see how to hold a mouse. To hold a mouse, first put your index finger on the left button. Second, Put your middle finger on the right button. Third, hold the mouse with rest of the fingers and rest your palm on the mouse. Now, uses of a mouse. Children, when you move a mouse, a small arrow moves on the monitor screen. This small arrow is called mouse pointer. By using the mouse pointer, you can point at the items on the monitor screen. Click the item. Double click the item. Play games on the computer. Draw pictures on the computer. Let's see how to point at the items and click. You hold the mouse, move it to Bring the pointer on the item. Press the left mouse button once quickly. It is called click. You click an item to select it. Children, you have seen this part of a computer. Can you name this? Yes, this is a monitor. A computer monitor is an electronic device that shows pictures for computers. Monitors often look similar to televisions. The main difference between a monitor 
and a television is that a monitor does not have a television tuner to change channels monitors often have higher display resolution than televisions a high display resolution makes it easier to see smaller letters and fine graphics there are three types of computer displays one the crt monitor these are big and heavy and use a lot of desk space and electricity it is the oldest technology used by the monitors and is based on the cathode ray tube technology that was developed for television monitors are made with better parts which give a higher display resolution and picture sharpness than a television this type of monitor is no longer popular the lcd monitor the most common kind of flat panel display it is a newer technology than crt lcd monitors use much less desk space are lightweight and use less electricity than crt they have been used for many years in the screens of laptop and notebook computers they also work as touch screens in tablet computers mobile phones and other handheld technologies the full form of lcd is liquid crystal display and third one is dlp digital light processing which uses very small mirrors to direct the light children you have seen this part of a computer can you name this yes this is a cpu central processing unit system cabinet the cpu is the brain of a computer containing all the circuitry needed to process input store data and output results the cpu is constantly following instructions of a computer programs that tell it which data to process and how to process it without a cpu we could not run programs on a computer the cpu can process those instructions easily thanks to a control unit that knows how to interrupt program instructions and an arithmetic logic unit alu that knows how to add numbers with the control unit and alu combined the cpu can process much more complex program than a simple calculator now in other supporting parts we are talking about printer scanner web camera and microphone can you know this yes this is a printer a printer is a machine which makes representation of graphics or text usually on paper while most output is human readable barcode printers are an example of an expanded use of printers the different types of printers include 3d printer inkjet printer laser printer and thermal printer next part is scanner scanner is a device that optically scans images printed text handwriting or an object and converts it to a digital image commonly used in offices are variations of a desktop flatted scanner where the document is placed on a glass window for scanning children have you seen this part yes this is a web camera a web camera is a video camera that feeds or streams an image or video in real time to or through a computer network such as the internet webcam are typically small cameras that sit on a desk 
attached to a user's monitor or built into the hardware now this is a microphone microphone is also called mic microphone converts sound into an electrical signal it is used for recording voice in next video we will meet again with one more interesting topic okay then bye bye